just had our inaugural graduation for our pre-apprenticeship um, class for the skilled trades today. And as we were just talking about it, I think back, wow, it's just been a year and a half. Uh, and to stand here today with the families of these young people, uh, to see 12 kids complete this program and receive certifications um, that's going to empower them, that's going to put them in a great place to compete for in-demand apprenticeships and youth apprenticeships in a year and a half is, is extraordinary and I'm just so excited about that. It started right here and this, this program has been over eight years in the making. It started with an idea. It just basically started with an idea. Uh, Boys and Girls Club of Dane County has a very successful uh, college preparatory program called Abbott Tops. And we're, we're, you know, it's been around for more than a decade. Uh, it's a partnership with the Madison Metropolitan School District. We have 30 staff that work in the Madison Metropolitan uh, Madison Schools, the Verona Schools, uh, at UW and Edgewood College. Um, starting with kids in the eighth grade, mentoring, um, you know, encouraging, uh, tutoring, uh, giving them hope that a four-year college can be a pathway for them. We wanted to provide opportunities for youth who maybe didn't see a four-year college in their pathway. And the skilled trades are perfect for them. Not every kid sees himself working behind a desk all day. A lot of kids like being out working with their hands. With the shortage of skilled trade workers that are needed around the country, not just here in Dane County, this career path is perfect for them. And we just had 12 kids graduate today that found that out. Our program is called Career Force Buildup. Um, we've had over 1,900 youth participate in this program in two years, 1,900. Um, and we get them out there and expose them with different trade fairs, um, uh, some of the trade associations, training centers, just to get them a touch, feel uh, for what the skilled trades are because they have no idea what this opportunity is for them. Um, so we want to expose them to that. Uh, but once they um, interview and, 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 and register and become a part of the Career Force Build Up program, we put them into cohorts where they do some more specific learning. Uh, we talk about the soft skills. Uh, a lot of our kids don't shake your hand and they keep their head down. And you know, we talk about soft skills, looking people in the eye, hard handshake, being honest, um, you know, being on time, you know, you know, uh, working in a team. Uh, so we, we, we teach them those things in our soft skills program here, um, which is a 12 week program. Um, another cohort that we uh, work with our kids in uh, is entrepreneurship. So we talk about entrepreneurship with them as well. If you talk about bridging the generational gap between black and brown kids, specifically in Dane County, you know, the, the best way to do that is to learn how to own your own business. And a lot of young people think that way now. They think entrepreneurial. Um, so uh, we have a 14-week um, a track for entrepreneurship. And then our flagship program is our youth apprenticeship, pre-apprenticeship program that just graduated uh, today, uh, which is a, it's a four-month program, four days a week, uh, where they get more detailed about what the trades actually are. Uh, they get certifications, um, and they're being prepared uh, to, uh, to become a registered or a youth apprenticeship uh, once they graduate uh, from, from high school. We have uh, three fortunate youth coming out of the program in our first cohort that have a great future being lined up for them as we speak. This is our first class. Um, and, and this just tells us what the future holds. This just tells us what the future holds. And that's the thing. There's no pipeline for the trades. I mean, you can go on Indeed right now. There's going to be over a thousand skilled trade jobs right now. And no one's practically applying for them. They don't know anything about them. I mean, that's, that's crazy to imagine. You know, there's over a thousand jobs that people can have in Dane County right now and they don't know enough about them to even apply for them. And some of these jobs, you know, and these could be for young people. These, some of these jobs are 18, 19, $22 an hour.
the work that needs to be done in this community and what we're able to accomplish in this space um, can't be done in this space alone. Uh, so it's going to take more collaboration. Uh, we've, been, we've been in great talks uh, with the Madison Metropolitan School District. We've been talking with Verona. Um, like I said, we're just, we're just a year and a half in this. And to have the impact that I saw tonight um, just makes me excited uh, for the future of Dane County, our youth. Um, once they really learn and understand, and their parents as well, um, what the opportunity that waits for them um, in the trades uh, here in this community, the possibilities are endless. And it's our job to inspire and to motivate and educate and make them aware um, that you know, you don't have to feel depressed or out of place because you don't see yourself at UW. Um, there are other opportunities um, that you can, you know, achieve a successful life in the future. Uh, and we think this particular pathway is one of them for a lot of kids in Dane County. So we do have a website, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, bgcd.org. Uh, um, you just look at Workforce, just click Workforce. Uh, it brings you right to this particular website and you would see all of the different scheduling for the different classes, the type of cohorts that we have. Uh, you can sign up for it right there and our staff will reach out. Uh, if it's a, you know 11th or 12th grader, they can do that on their own for the younger kids. Their parents normally sign them up for the program. But no, you can go right to our, our website. Like I said, click uh, Workforce Development and it will bring you right to the resources that we have available here. Our goal is to be here in perpetuity. Um, if anyone is looking for um, a place uh, to share their talents, um, uh, to share their, their, their treasure, uh, this is a great opportunity to do that. We want to provide this, and we do provide this to every youth at no cost to them or their families. Um, uh, you've seen the impact today. Um, if you're looking for a place to generate, to, to, you know, to donate your time or financial resources to making a difference. I hope you consider and choose the McKinsey Reg Regional Workforce Center uh, because we just made a big impact today.